Um, I don't want anyone to feel triggered by <clears throat> me posting this for my new followers. My old followers know me and know well enough that I'm going to post I'm a post twerk videos, I'm going to post good music, and I'm going to post me eating food, me working out, me in glam, me with my friends. This is my life. They know my life, period. <clears throat> they know I'm an athlete. They know I'm a fucking Olympian. They know that I'm strong. They know that I'm big. They know that I do whatever the fuck I want. But for my new followers who might be triggered by something like that, I want to let you know this is just who I am, and you can be who you want to be. You don't want to work out? Don't fucking work out. Don't listen to no body but your body. That's the only person you should listen to. The human body does amazing things. And it will always take care of you if you take care of it. Period. And if that means that you just like to go to the beach and lay down and read a book and get your negative ions in for your mental health, cool. If that means that you need to exert some energy, like me, I have a really busy schedule and I play really intense um, high cardio shows every single night and I was really depressed two years ago and then I started working out for mental health and I feel mentally better <clears throat> and stronger on stage for my job that pays my bills cool but everybody has a body and everybody's body communicates differently so don't take anything that I do as something that you need to do for yourself I will always tell you to do not follow in my footsteps. Create your own footsteps. Be your own superhero. Live your own movie. This is my movie. Don't listen to nobody. And this is the way I've always been. I fluctuate. I'm a human being. You fluctuate. You're a human being. So I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there for anyone who might be new to me and think that I would post anything in response to anybody or this is like something new in my life this is not this is just who I am because I'm already getting some DMs being like you still look good and I'm like I know I look good I've always been like this you know what I'm saying I have my periods where I just hot Cheetos tequila and I'm chilling and I have my periods where I'm like, I need to do a cleanse, get all the heavy metals out of my body, the toxins from all the airplanes. I'm a human being. We're allowed to be human beings. We're allowed to do what we feel is best for our bodies. And you should always do that. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> I feel good. <clears throat> I really do. The biggest thing for me that I always have to really discipline myself on, I don't care about exercise like that I don't care about dieting period the one thing that I always get on myself about is alcohol I'll tell you that much um drinking alcohol is something that says I'll be on and off it but when I'm not drinking alcohol I feel like a superhero like I feel so focused and I feel like I can actually listen to my body like what my body's actually telling me you know what I'm saying the alcohol really dulls that signal for me and I get really like in a binge of like let's go and one at a certain point last year like after Truth Hurts went number one so like September October we were drinking champagne every night because we were celebrating and I just feel like that was clouding a lot of my like other senses so that's the one thing ever since I got really sick for SNL I've just been like I'm not going to drink, but the Grammys, I'm about to be, I'm about to be tequila one, or tequila two, or tequila three, or tequila four, or, you know, and now, I, now that's the way I ration my alcohol, like, I drink for very, very, very special occasions now, instead of every single night, because we drink through our accomplishments, they did every night, I'm going in and out of accomplishments, shout out Drake, um, but yeah, anyways, Marcus is a great guy, I have worked out with Marcus for... The last honestly three years and he's been my number one dude and I always post about him you guys should follow him Marcus Eli the fly guy if you're in LA and you want to work out he works out uh, he does private at Gold's Gym or whatever um, 
and he's dope. Like, we have a great relationship. When I first met him, I said my goal is not to be a thin person. I know my body. My goal is to be stronger, and my goal is to be healthy on the inside out. So he listens to me. Everybody has different goals, but my goal is always to get this clear because my head, bro, like, there's days where I would show up to the gym crying. This was back in the True First days before I wrote True First, and I was so depressed. And I would show up to his to the gym, and I would just be sitting outside, like, bawling. And then I would be like, all right, let me just go in here. And I would go in with Marcus, and then an hour later, I would the tears would be gone, and the endorphins would be rushing, and I would feel better mentally, um, more clear mentally. I get, like, really good ideas Sometimes when I'm my body's busy and my brain can just chill out, I be thinking about like my performances or like new songs or ideas for like initiatives or charities. Like I get a lot of clarity, you know, um, and I'm grateful for it. I, I I do realize you know the privilege of being able to do some of the things that I do physically, and I, I'm I just show gratitude for that and. Um, I'm just happy. I just want to encourage everybody to be, to seek joy and to find their happiness. Like, in whatever way it is, this is your life. Don't look at nobody's page with millions of followers to, to figure out how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever. Don't even listen to me now. No, you should because... <laughs> because I'm telling you not to listen to me. My advice is to not listen to me. But anyways, um, I want everyone to have a beautiful day. I want everyone to take a deep breath and just relax your shoulders and smile about something that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for you. Yeah. I got to go because I got people in my house. I got a fitting for the Grammy. <laughs> and um, I'm just happy to not be on Twitter. You guys have a great day. I'm going to post something on Instagram soon. Y'all know I've been real stingy. I got to give y'all like a nude or like something, a beauty shot or something. Or a TikTok. Maybe I'll post a TikTok. I don't know. But anyways, love you guys. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. Don't listen to nobody but your body.